Welcome back, everyone. Baseball's on the field, and we got ourselves a pretty good game. It's uh, been a pitcher's duel, Georgia 4, Hawaii 2. To get an inside look at the pitcher helping out blocking the plate, we turn to Bobby V and his building blocks from Kellogg's. We have Caleb Stokes from the Germany representative in the Little League World Series. He's going to cover home on the wild pitch and tag the runner coming out. Here comes Caleb. Here comes the throw. He's tagging him. Perfect position. He had his foot in the right place, had the glove in the right place. The runner tagged himself out. Good job, Caleb. And you see Jacob Tate, Tate here covering home, puts his foot in the right position, and then takes his entire body and blocks the plate to make sure there's no entrance. He could have done that just with his glove and been a little safer, but we don't wear metal spikes here in Little League, so he just closed that door. Here are the numbers. You see the first inning, the 40 pitches. After that, 46. So as a result, he's over 85, and he's out. New pitcher in the game now is the person who actually started twice in the regional. His name is uh, Troy Gilliland. 289 ERA in that regional. He was 1-0. It's a big spot in the game here for Hawaii. The leadoff man, Kahoe Akau, is back up. Gilliland is 5'9", 138. Akau is 4'11", 86 pounds. On the corner call strike. And this is another hard-throwing pitcher. He's throwing... 69, 71 miles an hour at this 46 foot distance, which is equates to about 90 miles an hour in the major leagues. Good off speed pitch, and a cow is retired. Gilliland with a nice job. Let's go down to the third member of our crew. That's Adriana. Hi, Carl. Well, we're having some fun here with Hawaii team. The fans from Hawaii, uh, they are expecting more people tomorrow. Actually, Grandma's going to come tomorrow. He's going to bring the tea leaves, so he's going to wish them luck, and it's going to be a great success for the team. Also, Team Georgia, they have a lot of representation here at Williamsport, but to, uh, they have also back home 650 seats, two movie theaters, totally full in order to have uh, the baseball theme to cheer the team up over from back home. So they're having hot dogs, they're having peanuts, they're having everything to feel like they are here in Williamsport supporting their team. Back to you guys. Thank you, Adriana. So in a sense, you're in the movies. You, you, nice. You're in a movie. You're in a movie theater, you're on a big screen. It's air conditioned in there. Ty saw homered in the first. There's been nothing else doing for Hawaii since then. Oh. He's at 71 mile hour fastball running away. Five outs is what they're looking for out of Gillian. Well, he's got a good off speed pitch. He's talking about changing speeds and whatnot. He, he certainly seems effective at that. Again, he started the two games. He appeared in four games, but he really pitched out of the bullpen. He started once in the regional. Oh. Oh, flies away. summer for these boys and it's culminating here in Williamsport as Bobby said these kids from Georgia their classmates are already in school fastball and foul back we have supreme concentration here cold foul out there trying to get these last five outs knows that three two count means it's a pitch of reckoning needs to throw a strike here he comes and there he goes shot into center field cut off out there just he's going into second base wow did he have long legs he's in there safe big strides So Desai is on second, but wow, look at that for him. Prior to that pitch, this B was buzzing, <laughs> but never, ever disrupted the concentration of Troy Gilliam. Now you have 
Back in the moving arena. off the yeah. off the bay, off the mound, making the play. This is concentration at <laughs> at its highest degree. Tell you what, I get, I, hard to believe that the B didn't uh, see the red and the yellow moving in second. What is that moving? I gotta go get that. <laughs> Interesting. He's in Williamsport, but bigger stories on the field. Shiloh Baniaga is now up. He's the tying run. Desai has both hits for Hawaii. Steve gets in for a strike. How do you approach this? You're sitting on the fastball, that comes and you're kind of locked? Yeah, you're going to be locked on that first pitch for sure, but I think you're going to stay on the fastball and try to hit it up the middle. This is what uh, manager Yoshi has been preaching this entire ser series. Check swing, it's a fair ball. It's fielded over there by Payne, who's moved from pitcher to first base. And there are two men down with a tying run now coming to the plate in the form of Kamana Bartolome. And Carl, we mentioned there's a lot of distance be behind home plate in here at this field. The uh, grass slopes as it approaches the wall behind home plate, so it's a very difficult play for the catcher unless he gets a good carom as he did in the first inning off that back wall. So we'll see if the wild pitch plays. Bartolome pops it up, third baseman. There was some contact there with the base runner, but he makes the play, and the inning is over. So they threatened, but DeSaw, instead of hitting a home run, is retired. Hi, Bob. So we saw the B. The pitcher was able to deal with that. And we had a little more concentration issue here. And they dealt with that. We'll be back after this message and a word from our... Good concentration. 